All right, here we're going to look at some very basic differential equations. And again, a differential equation is simply an equation that involves derivatives. So here we've got the differential equation dy dx equals x to the fourth. We want to know which one of these uh, three functions, a, b, or c, are solutions to this differential equation. And maybe there's uh, more than one solution. But again, all this really says is, is which derivative is, gives us just x to the fourth. So we can check part a dy dx here we'll get 1 fifth times 5x to the fourth plus 1. Well, that leaves us with x to the fourth plus 1, but that's certainly not just x to the fourth. So part A is not our, solu the, not our solution. Part B, if we take the derivative of 4 to the x plus 5, the derivative of 4 to the x is going to be 4 to the x times the natural logarithm of 4. The plus 5 just turns into a constant. Again, that's definitely not just x to the fourth. And likewise, we can check part C here. Well, the same thing. The derivative of y with respect to x, uh, we'll get 1 fifth times 5x to the fourth, which will give us x to the fourth. The derivative of pi is just 0. So hey, we found our solution uh, uh, of these. So part C would be our solution to this differential equation. Let's maybe look at uh, one other very similar idea. And now, instead of just a first derivative, we've got a second derivative. So the second derivative with respect to y is negative 4y. We have these two functions. We want to know which one of these, uh, again, potentially both, uh, could be solutions here. So, all right, we've got y equals cosine of 4x. Well, the first derivative, dy dx, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. We leave the inside alone, have to chain rule it, so the derivative of the inside is going to be 4. So we'll get negative 4 sine of 4x. Well, when we take a second derivative, we'll get negative 4 times cosine of 4x times 4. That's going to give us negative 16 times cosine of 4x. And, you know, definitely that doesn't look like negative 4y. We can certainly replace the starting function, right? We started with y equals cosine of 4x. So we could always plug that back in to the cosine 4x. So we could rewrite this as negative 16y. But again, that's not the solution that we want. So part A doesn't work. Let's try part B here, sine of 2x. So the first derivative dy over dx. Um, I was going to write y prime, which is certainly legal, but uh, you know I'm just going to stick with the notation that we've got here, the Leibniz notation. So sine of 2x, the derivative will be cosine of 2x times 2, or hey, just 2 cosine of 2x. The second derivative with respect to y, well, let's see, the derivative of cosine is going to be negative sine. We'll leave the 2x alone. But then again, the chain rule, so we'll have to multiply by another 2. And let's see, that's going to give us negative 4 times sine of 2x. But again, the same thing as before. We can replace sine of 2x uh, with just y. So we're left with negative 4y. That's exactly what we wanted to be left with. So now we found our solution here, uh, part b.